The Blue Angels are back in town already preparing for their next air show here, even though it is not until October. You'll remember last year's show was canceled due to rising cases of COVID-19. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding shows us what this means for these remarkable pilots to be back and what's expected. How's that for a grand entrance? After some time away, Lieutenants Caitlin Forster and Griffin Stangle with the elite Blue Angels team are back. And boy, are they ready to show their skills. It's incredible. Just being on the road so far this season and seeing the air shows back 100% fully up and running is absolutely thrilling. You know, I personally feed off energy from the crowd. The pair is here to oversee preparations. Lieutenant Forster is the demonstration's event coordinator, the third woman to hold the position. She says since it is Jacksonville's bicentennial, this year's event is a special kind of homecoming. This is where we had our first show 76 years ago. So getting to kind of celebrate together that history and heritage uh, with the Blue Angels and Jacksonville will definitely be a lot of fun and we look forward to it come October. This year's air show will be the first time that an F-A-18 at Super Hornet will be featured. It is a larger aircraft and one of the most flown in the Navy for carrier aviation. Spectators can expect to meet the team and see the fun up close. But for Forster and Stangle, the best part is inspiring future generations. Find something you're passionate about and get a little better at that thing every day. And to be honest, I got the best job in the world. You know, my favorite part of flying is getting shot off the front end of a carrier. And there's nothing like it in the world. And I wouldn't trade that for anything. No matter how old you are, just starting with those small goals, working on them each and every day can lead to great success and just following what you truly like to do and keep having fun every day. Gearing up for this upcoming show and revisiting this priceless piece of Jacksonville pride. From NAS Jacksonville, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.